Crystal Jordan, be honest in myself, Kevin Davis. We are music, love, life. Back to the old school. Do yeah, they know who is music? Who actually, is I'm ready to get to the bottom of some things because I think we've got a traitor in the midst. Do we know who mu- who's music uh-huh. and who is love and who is life? Do we? I think we're all all, aren't we? Maybe. Because yeah. I'm love, right? <laughs> all, I, all, I, all I talk about is lovely. I thought I was love, yes. but I ain't going to fight you for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm love. I got there it. we go. There we go. I, all, I talk, all I speak is positivity. Are I'm, you kidding me? I'm love. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going <laughs> to do that. I'm, I did miss you guys last week. Is that why you was dropping thirst traps on Instagram? What thirst trap did I drop? Mm-hmm. It was not a thirst trap. Mm-hmm. It was an artistic how, how photo. How you don't know artistic. and then all of a sudden now because you I, know. Because, because you guys, we, we talked about this in text. And uh, you guys man, have been asking me to shits. show boob on the show. And there was a picture, which I guess we can pull it up later. I will definitely find a way to put that into the show. It video. was a, it had a sliver, a sliver, not even really boob, a sliver of plump flesh, if you will. Traitor. <laughs> it was. Traitor. But guys, as guys are so weird because people were like, oh my God, there's under boob. And I'm like, it's not even really under boob. It's like a shadow on a shirt. But I think I did complete my requirement for the show. Absolutely not. Nah, you know we, we trying to get this show popping. It's gotta the be only on the, way we're going to get this popping is to exploit some women's. Well, so when don't you start did, with me. No, I needed some twerk. I need some I boob. Never, I never And then you did it twerk. for the gram. I never, things, I didn't do man. anything we don't benefit for from the, the gram. gram. There was a, it was an artistic picture. I was having a rough day. I had on a shirt that said supernatural. Artistic. And I just felt supernatural. It, it, it looked very artsy. I didn't know it was you. Okay. Is that good or bad? I don't know. Okay. What? Why did you not know it was me? I just because of the hair. I did so. I didn't because I hadn't seen you. Oh yeah, I have. I, this guy told me today that I look like my name was Kiki. Mm, okay. Because of, I mean, you know, I got kind of like the braids. I got the braids that, and baby hair out. You feeling? Yeah, you you feeling kind of poetic justice right I now. Am, you got I am. all black. I am. Yeah. But it it's was hot in mm-hmm. in Atlanta. I'm yeah, trying to do it's something hot in where here right now. air touches my scalp. But you only showed point zero seven five percent boob. Not good enough. Halfway. And first of all, and you I know said you had side a better boob picture. was good. That wasn't side boob. It, well, it was under boob. Not good enough. Well, you I can't you say that. You said under boob was good. Like, who takes one selfie? So I know you had other I pictures with more boob. I did not want boob. to show more boob. Oh, That's you not think what, it was a selfie? It was, it, well, I mean. You but, said artistic. It was artistic. You see? Did I, y'all thought really just right? Did y'all just, I thought it was a photographer. I thought it was a photographer. I'm not taking pictures with a, a photographer in my house. No. I don't know. My, it could have been anybody. It could have been your daughter photographer. Oh, that your... would be really nice. My daughter taking pictures of me with underboob. She saw it. Uh, I mean, but it wasn't really, it was artistic. It wasn't really, I don't think that it was, I would like the what viewers was, to chime in. What was the in. message in the art? I just said it was. I was feeling supernatural. I wanted to. I felt supernatural because I was godly. rising above my problems. All right, when I'm feeling godly. Yeah. That's, what okay. I, okay. That's that works right. too. Not, not enough. It has to be on the live. Right. First of all, it has to be on the live. What has to be on the live? The boobs. No, the picture is enough because that's enough. It's we've enough. We've been telling you, man. We've been trying to get this show to pop. And I know how we get it to pop. The only way we're gonna do that. There's men can it's see how much a woman is holding. If men would show us what they were holding, then it would be a lot better. For what them. What does your breast have to do with with sex? I didn't say that. I said women you, men know what women are holding. No, holding my ass. Yeah, you could do that to a baby. You could be like, oh, look at this. A baby would be no, like, oh I mean, my god. As far as like what you're working with, <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> you might be able to con a baby into liking you because you got boobs. I don't hey, mean con anyone into liking you. I mean you just that, said you want guys mm-hmm. to show their meat off so that girls can know. What we they want to just with? know what we what there is, you know, what the yeah, whole package is like. Your titties aren't working. We don't. It's nothing. Work. That's just like uh, ornaments. You're lying. They don't have anything to do with the sex. On this show, you have constantly said that boobs were delicious. Have you not? No, I said delicious. Yes. I said Popeyes was no, delicious. No, you said you said under. You said side boob was delicious. He, said, he did say fried chicken, but I'm he side, said side boob too. I'm I can't pull, remember saying I'll the boob was delicious. Up. I did want to know how much boobs weigh. You said side boob was delicious. Maybe I did, but regardless, I, I mean that's a fair statement. I'm, but that has nothing to do with the what's sex. Wrong with that? Okay, you but, can have great boobs and have awful box. Okay, well you can. Okay, we just want to know what you're working <laughs> with. That doesn't mean that it's going to be good or bad, or that there will even be an opportunity. So what do you prefer? Yeah, but not? that's not going to make the show pop. 
Yeah, and you can not still make the show pop. Not I think women would tune in for it. Not at all. Women see that every day, everywhere. No. Dude's always trying to show stuff off. Wait, I thought you were the one that said the women don't be uh, print watching. Well, first of all, the, the, pro- the fact is, and I hate to even go in this, but you really can't tell what's going on with just, I mean, you can see a little bit, but there are some showers and growers and you just don't know where we are with just the So print. what you want to see is, I don't want this version on Instagram. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry. (laughs) You either want a shower or you want the grower to have grown already and you want to see that. I mean, we just want to know where we're going to end up if something pops off. So serendipity, that just, that didn't work for no, you? No, no. Serendipity it, does uh, not work. In your older years, serendipity doesn't work anymore? I'm not with When it. you were younger, you were willing to do it, right? Well, you believe in love and blah, blah, blah. You don't believe in love anymore. <laughs> <laughs> <No. laughs> you don't believe in love. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so you're telling me the only reason you're getting with dudes now is just No, straight, that's not what I said. What I said was when you were young, factory. you just think, oh, it doesn't matter if yeah, he has... Yeah, she'd be like, it next... <laughs> Shut up. If he has money, it doesn't matter. If he's if he's small, it doesn't matter. If he's inadequate, it doesn't matter. If he doesn't have a good job, it doesn't matter. I'll just love him and love will change everything. Nobody says that. When you're young, you do think that. Mm. When you're young, you think that That's if really you love someone... That's really retarded then. Wait, women think retardedly when they're young. Wow. If you think if you love somebody, love would just... Make this person that has no money and yeah, no job. I do think love is like this magic force that shoots out of a small bear and just heals the world. You keep on with that damn Care Bear reference, but it that was a great show. Is, it was a great show, okay? I don't heals the world. <laughs> it, love does heal I'm the world. Giving love, but it does not. It does not pay bills, and it does not satisfy you in you know sexually. Doesn't matter. Cartoon's over, and by that time, you, by that <laughs> so, time, you're in the bed watching the Notebook. Okay, so I'm I'm sorry. Stop. I, Get off. I, I'm not as shallow as you, so I need some clarification. Really? Yeah. Because are you really? It sounds like you just want to cut some, but I'm what I'm trying to figure <laughs> out is <laughs> I'm trying to figure out. Okay, so the best sex I've ever had has been with someone that I loved. Right. And that that's kind of what allows it to be tantric, or I don't know whatever word you decide to call okay, it. Okay, so let Woo! me ask you something. Huh? If you, the person that you loved, had really bad sex. Mm-hmm. But see, now you're going to the extreme. You're saying really bad. Well, that happens. Mm-hmm. That yeah, happens. But, you're, but you're going, you're jumping from one side to the extreme I'm of just, the no, other but side. But I'm asking you a question. What if the person that you were really, really in love with just didn't have the necessary tools to make your experience enjoyable? Well, how could you be in love with that person? Exactly. You can, that's my point. Women. How could women be in be love in with love, that guy? You can be in love with someone that does not have the right equipment. Wow, then you're. I don't think you're in love. I no, think you are. I think you in like. That's no, a sad existence. That is not true. <laughs> That's a sad that human existence. That is not existence. true. Sometimes I think love you in like, like for the check. Love has no. That's what it is. Because no, if no, he no, doesn't no. have good sex, he's probably got a decent check. That's sex is not first. True. That's not to true. To me, sex is first. Sex? No, I don't believe you. That's how believe. you get to He's know lying. each other. Hand to the it's man. Not true. Hand to the man. Not true. To me, sex yeah, is I, first. Can, I have been in love with someone before that did not that I did not. When really you meet enjoy someone, them. the first customary thing to do is have sex. That's not true. You should be. I'm not gonna say. I, we're just. I mean, okay, guys, I'm not gonna do it. Just even to even Trey Song says sex ain't better. than Oh love. well, we definitely mm-hmm. need to listen to Trey because he's <laughs> he was he's, probably talking about a guy though. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying he, got, he takes some weird pictures And he actually said Sex ain't better than love Did I say sex isn't? You said you, But you're I a, said he was sex suge- ain't Yeah well he's It's not He, he was explained He was suggesting he that Yeah he was suggesting that um, That love is better than sex Sex does not right, matter That's what I'm saying That's oh, okay. what I'm saying too Oh but no The best you, sex I've ever had Has been with people that I loved But I said what if what? Well you said you can't love someone Unless they have great sex I'm not, You're not listening to what I'm saying The best sex I've ever had Was with people that I love I understand that But what I'm saying is What, what if Okay but You sa- love someone That didn't have great sex What I'm saying is Maybe the fact that I love them Is why we were able to have Tantric like I'm not sure so What if saying, they didn't so have The necessary the tools love Actually made the sex better Absolutely Okay so I'm asking That's why I'm just that. asking you again I'm, I'm willing to What if that. You loved someone That had a very Very dry how do you get to the love spot? Because that's not connect. That's not the same. Yeah, very early in our relationship. I mean, I I like one night stand women. I don't like that don't wait you. three months uh, Steve Harvey bullshit. <laughs> I like the within the first week or so we smashed, and you know, in that way, it allows me to know whether I want to let. Like, if it's not good enough in that first week or so, mm-hmm. it's probably never going to be good enough. So that means, ladies, pull the big guns out. <laughs> don't be trying to hold back to my. He don't think I'm a hoe. Be that hoe. I'm telling you. And there we if go. he like you, he Should gonna stay. Told. Hey, hoes get married too. A hoes get married first. Be a, hey. In these times, in these hoes trying get times. Too. Speaking of hoes, Kevin and I had a bonding moment. Oh, yeah. It was just around the side boob thing. No, oh, okay. No, nor about nor about 
not necessarily hose, kind of like a, a indescriptive uh, angle at the hose. Well, what I do? Well, no, you didn't do anything. I, we were talking because his grandfather, I think, made a comment on one of our posts. And my grandfather was famous in Toledo, Ohio for owning what they called a cat house. And Kevin, grandfather as well, I think oh, wow. he might have went a little further. Did he also have the hose as well? <laughs> What's a cat house? Yo, I, I can't believe you just Barbara Walters that question. <laughs> right. Did, did well, he like, also have I believe house? he did. I believe he might he might <laughs> did. Well, you know, well like, no, what? my grand okay, a cat house, for those of you that don't know, um, is house. is a home where Johns would bring their prostitutes, or prostitutes would bring their Johns, because usually actually more of the also prostitutes. Known as a brothel. So he wasn't what? a pimp. He just owned the house. And yeah, he was out. not a pimp. So it's like booth rent. Cleve was not a pimp. He Kinda, just actually, he yeah. provided a service. He provided a service. He rented a room. And, you remember, you remember you know, in life when the girl went upstairs to do God's work because you know grandmother was having an operation. Gotcha. Well, you know, yeah. it was a big house, and I remember going over to the house as a kid. My mother didn't really like us to go over there at all. But I think my dad had us one day. We went over there, and we could only go in one room because my grandfather in a previous life was like a, a, a talented musician that played for Duke Ellington. And then on the other side was just hoes. Oh, he used to play for Duke? I he know played for he Duke, had but hoes. then he, there was hoes all around, and then there was like this sacred room. So Y'all ruined him. Duke Ellington what? in 1900? Hell yeah, he has hoes. Y'all ruined him. What do you mean? All that them? sinfulness going on around him. All well, the women just killing Kevin, themselves. Kevin has said his grandfather was of the same ilk. Yeah, my grandfather pimp. He still is. He's still a pimp today. He's still a pimp. My grandfather does. Does he actually army. have holes? My grandpa. Yeah, he's still pimping. Oh, real shit. Well, maybe Ohio the, hasn't moved forward. See, I be telling you, man. You think I be talking <laughs> shit? Look, it's in the blood, man. I can't. I'm hey, not gonna look, do that. We're not gonna it's do in that. In the blood. And so your you're grandfather. A pimp too? Your grandfather was? He was in the military. I know I am not a pimp. So what's in the but blood? But it's in the blood. Oh, the pimp? Woo. If you wanted to, hey. at any given moment. Hey, man. Watch just, out. I'm trying to tell you, man. Look, <sighs> sometimes you just know the lingo. You don't know why. It just, hey, watch out there now. Okay. All righty then. All right. Uh, okay. Yeah. So your grandfather was Army, in the military? Yeah. Army took care of his wife and, and kids. Normal shit. <laughs> Well, I hey. mean, he may have killed a gook or two, <laughs> but <laughs> but other than that, no, you, <laughs> he may have killed a couple of no, gooks. He, no, he he has a Nazi helmet. Oh, yeah, he brought it back. Um, okay, yeah, you know, I mean, you know, just regular shit like that. He got his finger shot off one time in the oh, Korea, in the hey. Korean War because he was climbing over a, a a bridge and a bullet hit his finger. So your grandfather was doing really noble stuff, and yeah, I mean, ours was just like. Pimp and hoe. Well, again, See, my grandfather was not an actual. He was pimp. the customer, probably. He just he probably was the customer. I mean, after getting your finger shot off, you would need some. I think you deserve to get some outside pussy if you get your finger shot off to take care of the family. <laughs> right. See, my grandfather had you covered. There you go. Oh, my grandfather yeah. had the had this had the All location. The war heroes, yeah. they come back, Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Sally. Yeah. You want a nice, uh, enjoyable, clean oh, welcome uh, to room? This fine soldier. <laughs> Somebody had to do it. Somebody yep. has to do it. Somebody has to do it. Like that them. man fought for our country and your freedom. <laughs> the least you could do yeah. is to give him a little pleasure. Interesting. Break right? a mouth some. So, so I was, I was in the military. Do you think I deserve outside also? I don't think so. Did, I, I did don't you think fight so. for our country? I don't think you had if your finger shot off. I, I mean, didn't. I mean, I was in the Navy, so it was a little different. I mean, did you actually... But what did you do in the Navy? Were you like a basket weaver or something? You there, was, there was threat of chemical warfare more than once when I was... Oh, well, yeah. Ship. We don't... We don't... We're not gonna... We're not honoring that. It wasn't... It wasn't hard. It was like labor. 150 degrees. We were in the Persian it's Gulf twice. Damn near that I haven't now. seen your was, medals. Kosovo... <laughs> I'll show you my medals. Kosovo, Persian Gulf twice. One of the times in the Persian Gulf, it was Operation Desert Fox. In the water... Well, yeah, but I mean, are we all day long, planes are taking off, dropping bombs and shooting, you know what I'm saying? Like, they come back empty, so I may not have been the one. So your ears were overwhelmed with the noise? Well, no, see, I was a communications guy, so it was I was responsible for making sure that the planes could communicate with our ship. Yeah, you're not getting it. So, no, I'm your saying- Your grandfather it, was climbing over walls and getting his finger job. shot out. I'm We're just not saying, doing it. I, I didn't say I wasn't smart. We're not I'm doing it. No, had a no. job. Who shoots was? a gun? You got a, whole, you got a whole wife weed. and you're This good. one's for okay. typing. <laughs> 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 this one's, be, what do you say, checker champion? <laughs> but I did it in the Persian Gulf and Kosovo. Mm. Uh, you're on location. <laughs> wow. No, 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 not going to do it. How many times have you been to Abu Dhabi? Never. Exactly. Never. So you can't get a purple heart for that. 
<laughs> Never. But it was a war zone. I was closer than you, damn Meanwhile, it. Is that, now, why were you given such a cush job? I'm smart. Did you go in it's as an officer? It's not just good looks over here. This did you, did is, you, there's intelligence over here, too. Did you go in as an officer? I did not. Really? I okay, didn't. that's impressive. It's, it's good thing to know that our country doesn't put the smart people on the front line. Why would oh, they? well, that's awesome. So if your son is over there right now <laughs> on the front lines, bless his heart. Hey, he might need to smarten up. This is horrible. I don't like this conversation. Are we offending dumb people offending, now? Can you I'm, redo yeah, the ass fab? I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. Guys. <laughs> Not after you're in. That's horrible. Hey. No. Turn the time out. <laughs> right? Not nice. <laughs> Not nice. Hey, we're, we're good. We respect had... the military, Ben. I all love of them. the military. Yeah. And I, have, I, have I have family in the military. Special love for yeah. the ones that are out there actually so my in combat. Friends I, was in, I got a combat medal. Again, special love for the ones that were out there actually in combat, but you in know the how, element. You know how everybody, like if, if you're in public and you see someone in uniform and someone comes up, says, thank you for your service. Right. Yeah. What the motherfuckers going to be doing that? And they just enrolled yesterday. <laughs> Well, some of them yeah, do. I saw one That's in public. That's why Publix. they got that clean-ass uniform on. I, was I saw my one family. in Publix and... and um, you know, I I thanked him for his service. I, I, How'd he look? <laughs> wow. She, she was throwing She's it. She's so yeah, one-dimensional. You see? Not, oh, I am not. That's not so true. He's so shallow. He said, <laughs> man true. in uniform. He's like, thank you for your service. <laughs> did, did you win? Side, side boo. I, did you win? Really? Yeah. Y'all, y'all, y'all did me so wrong. That's Gave not you true Gave your IG, didn't you? Not, it's not, no. Mm. So wrong. I was he in combat? I wouldn't. I, he, had on a, he had on combat boots. <laughs> I, I had combat boots. <laughs> I assumed that he was. I didn't realize there were people over there pushing paper. I didn't push paper, though. That's why it'd be people lying and talking about they in the military because they can get some military poon. I don't think there's any such thing yeah, as military do. poon. Yeah, yeah. I there's military so. groupies, I'm sure. Really? Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I think there are. I, I mean, really? I was married, so You I think there are? Well, what I do know is that a lot of military spouses are, are you know, Yes, they do their thing. Up for... When, when we went out to sea... It just it went crazy. Yeah, isn't it? It, go, Google it. Google yeah. it. Oh, Virginia. no, I, I have yeah. friends that were in the military and they tell me, like, it was just like a free-for-all. Yeah, it's like a, no. They had rings, prostitution rings, with yeah. people's wives. There was actually there was actually police, no police involved. I hope no one's wife is is getting into a ring after the ship leaves. No, no, prostitution ring, not a lot of boxing match. I th- no, I'm thinking like because I heard people people connect that are both married, so it'd be like oh no you no, know. no yeah. I'm saying when the husbands are gone, the wives will get together and start like a you know. There was like a madam and everything. Oh wow, that's maybe one of y'all's grandpa, uh, grandmoms. Well, my grandfather was stationed in. Toledo near Detroit, so I don't know if there was any army base anywhere near there. Actually, but I, our grandfathers probably did. Run they probably know each other. What did they yeah. fought? Sure, I don't think Cleveland. they did. Cleve was a very peaceful man. He's a musician. He's an artist. He doesn't. He was not into the. Uh, Wait, his name was Cleveland. Yeah, his name was Cleveland. Wow, oh, Cleveland yeah, that's, in, that's outside of Cleveland. Name. That's a yeah. Your grandfather was a real pimp. You know what's crazy? Uh, shout out to King Kunta, who is also on the Rare Sonics Network on Black on Both Sides. He showed me a picture of, believe it or not. Two friends, mm-hmm. Malcolm X and Red Fox, before they were oh, wow. who they were, they were they were like cool. That's dope. They were both criminals back then, though, and they were both cool. Before Malcolm became Malcolm X, and mm. you know what I'm saying? Dope. Was, that is dope. Was, yeah. I got to find that picture because I want to I want to get in like blow it up and frame it. That's I cool. can imagine the jokes. Oh my god! <laughs> right. Between young Malcolm X, <laughs> right, and Red and Fox. Red Fox. I so does know, that mean might not have been jokes? It might have just been all numbers. <laughs> it might have been all for real gangster shit. Yeah. But but um so. Spike Lee's character wasn't real, right? I don't think so. But you know what? I saw a, a really cool picture of a really young Eddie Murphy and Richard Pryor. That's super dope. I'll, I'm gonna have to. I'll have to put that in the page. I think I. I think it was. It's, it was on Facebook. But literally, like a super young Eddie Murphy. He has on like. He's almost dressed like a transgender. I guess that was the time. Eddie, Eddie Murphy in a tight leather. Well, and yeah, he's, he's got something in his hair. I mean, he's, you know. Probably. It, yeah, both of them kind of look a little. Richard, party all the time. Richard, Richard Pryor, Pryor sucks, obviously sucks was. Dicks. But yeah. I was going to say it was bisexual. Teddy Pendergrass sucked a transsexual dick. He's bisexual as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I still listen to that music. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't bother me at all. Teddy P can sing whatever you want to sing. That's Like, that's instant he was penny droppers. a hard time. I think it's just something about the artistic people that, you know, no, they just. No, no, it's still fucked up and it's still weird. But his songs, still. Gil still get them wet. Like, it's gonna, panties don't drop. Your panties don't drop when you hear Teddy P? I'm not really into the old man songs. Old man song? Yeah, I'm not really into the old man You songs. know, man singers. She is not from the Midwest. Especially <laughs> Teddy P. That, oh, 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 oh. Uh, that's, that, that's Lenny Williams. Oh, yeah, that's, all that. That's, 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 now, that's old man. Yeah. Teddy P is forceful. Man singer. Turn them off. That kind of shit. 
turn off the yeah, lights. Yeah, you're talking eh, about Eddie Levert. Like you going that shit. I didn't like it. You know what? But I I I I interviewed a young lady today that um another transsexual? No. Okay. No. Thank but you. she actually did hang out with a lot of transgenders. Yeah. And it's still, still part of the story. But no, there's a young lady named Anivia Cruz who I interviewed today for rolling out. Those names don't match. Anivia Cruz? Yeah, Cruz is like a Spanish. Latino name. Anivia yeah. is like a lotion. <laughs> You're thinking of Nivia. This oh. is Anivia. Oh. Yeah. Is this the Nivia that was like running out down the street because she lost her mind a little bit? No. This Not is, that this Nivea. This is a different lady. That's a singer. No, this, is a, this is a model, a oh, former okay. model. Shouts out to models. IG, an IG model or no, a real? No, a real model like, from back in the day. Like like what? Like what's the, what's the house she was a model I for? I just feel like this is getting ready to be she like a Drake model. song. Like <laughs> you dance like for what? Like what? Like a real model, model, model? Mm. No, a real model. It, so, you got to ask these days. She's a woman that had um, butt augmentation. Oh. Right? She had the black market butt augmentation that I didn't think that there were people. Like caulk or something? Like I think fix a flat oh. I, I don't know if that's what they put in her Because I asked her what it was And I don't think she really knows to this day But we've talked about plastic surgery And women getting And she said that she actually was around a lot of transgenders And one of them introduced her to Getting <laughs> Getting, this, getting the, her, her butt augmented And she did But the interesting thing Listen The interesting thing that she said Is that After she had The augmentation done Which only cost $300 by the way She had to have known It was something up Yo Hold on This was back in the day Did she not walk in the room And see the fix a flat there And just go $300 Kev This is back in the day And maybe she had a discount Maybe there was a discount Because she knew the person doing it Maybe they offered her a discount Can I tell you a story real quick Point being Maybe maybe the price was low Because it was illegal (laughs) <laughs> Perhaps No You think Point being There are a lot of people That have suffered That she's suffered Tremendous health um, Issues Fuck. Because of her Of her augmentation She went back And had it done Nine times Nine times So I, we talked about Body dysmorphia You guys check out The I actually posted The um, the interview On our Facebook page But it was really sad And I think that It's a it, There's a special A documentary That's coming on D, BET tomorrow night Actually When this show airs Called Killer Curves Where uh, so K. Tonight, Michelle for, for Tonight Yes to Tonight show. on okay. BET Killer Curves It has K. Michelle Who of course Has taken everyone Through her journey Of you know Wanting plastic surgery Getting it done And then Having health, you know, uh, issues attached to it. Also talking shit about people who weren't okay. Yeah, I, you know, but there. I think I think that she's growing now. She's maybe. growing. Yeah, Hopefully but there was some growing. ugly. There was some ugly times. No, there was some ugly moments, and I think I think with most women, I think it it comes from a need to be perfect, and I don't think there is such a thing as perfect. But I think that social media, especially now, because this young woman is absolutely gorgeous. She was a model. So you're perfect. No, I'm not perfect. No, you I are. I actually wanted to get some augmentation, but after listening to her story, I think I decided I'm not going to do it. So what was the result, though? $2,700 she's worth still, of fix a flag. She's still, well, it, it would go up and down in price, but no, she's had, she's had, nine she had, she she, <laughs> listen, at one point, there was actually a hole in her behind because it had basically rotted from the inside. And an at abscess? this point, like, she's like was, an abscess, yeah. She said that ugh. it smelled really, it was horrible, it was infected. And there was, there's basically nothing that doctors can do to fix it. And so she's still walking around. I, I really hope that someone will um, reach out to her that there is a doctor because there's nine doctors that have, have told her that they, they, they won't touch her because it's a liability because it's so bad. They don't. So you know, the hole's still there? I don't, the hole is not there because they've packed it, but she still has, she, she developed kidney packed failure because of it. I'm not sure. Because they put, she put those raw chemicals inside of flesh. Well, it caused her, yeah, it caused her <laughs> body to kind of, I guess, eat itself from the, the inside. That's inside scary. Inside that's out. like, yeah. you got it because the, the, in, the lasting results are not just the whole, it's stuff like cancer and. Yeah. Well, kidney failure. Kidney failure. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's a topic that we've talked about because I think that more and more young women are doing this and there's so many documentaries on plastic surgery going wrong there's television shows about it but I don't think they really capture the the enormity of how the people are dealing with the issues that they suffer afterwards you know I saw something like like 30 percent of women that go in to have these surgeries have severe complications afterwards you know what I mean and so even if you get it done if you get if you go someplace that is considered reputable that still doesn't take away the idea that you could have complications later <sighs> and it's just it's horrible and I think I think that I don't know what the what the answers are because she acknowledged that when she was getting her 
you know, the augmentation done, the response she got from men was amazing. You know, men were very, you know, um, she said that she had always been considered beautiful, but now she was considered desirable because, you know, she it gave her a butt and, you know, curves. And so men started to respond to her differently. And she said that felt empowering. So I think that we have to have a real conversation with women about the fact that this is an attention that you will get but that may not be what is best for you. And we have to teach women to feel comfortable in their own in their own skin. I hate that women go through so much hassle to, you know, harm themselves and, and yeah. trying to enhance themselves. But that like that attention, that wasn't that wasn't attention from men. That was attention from our penises. Oh, that's real. That's real. I'm just the, being one hundred. Well, I heard her, I, I know what it is. Like yeah. yeah, I heard her say desirable. I'm thinking to myself, like, in what way? You know? Like and a lust, yeah, but not desirable in the way she probably really wanted it to be. Anyway, right. you know what I'm saying? Like the right. end result is not. It's even fool's th- gold. Mm. It's fool's gold. So, if if are most women doing it that way? Or are they going to spend the, the real money? I think that now I don't think there are very many people going and getting it done like that. Okay, but I do think that even with the fat transfer that is very popular, that is a lot healthier and actually, I mean, actually healthy. That was not healthy what she did. Um, but there are still women having uh, complications. And I think that women need to, no one can tell you what to do with your body, but I do think that the idea that there could be a consequence for that, you know, and that beauty may be, it may be temporary. It, that false beauty, that fake beauty may be temporary because they can, f- you know, put as much stuff as they want into your body, but eventually your body's going to change as you get older and, you know, things happen. So I think that, you know, we just have to have a more balanced picture of what is going on. And I hope that this documentary, Killer Curves, is going to kind of help, you know, show the other side of it. So at least if you make that decision, you've made an educated decision. Is it safe to say that breast implants are probably the only one that's lasted the test of time? But actually, there's a lot of issues with breast implants. I think that we just don't see the negative things because those are not, they're not provocative. They don't get the people going. So people I don't want to see that. I think it would. like, Ugh. I, but there's on Netflix, there's several because I watched some in preparation for the interview with Anivia and I was horrified. Like I said, I, I actually have considered, I think most women have thought about getting some part of their body changed and looking at these documentaries. I mean, I saw breast implants gone way wrong, like way wrong. Like you end up with things that look just like another breast. Not even like another, like a hole, like a gaping area, like skin that's sloughed off of something. It just is, 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 look at Netflix. This is crazy. <laughs> Watch Killer Curves on BET tonight, please. And um, yeah, just, just be careful, ladies. So now is she doing, what, what's her stance now? now her, she, she just wants to help empower young women and teach them that, you know, they, they need to find a way to be at peace and be, and celebrate their, their beauty, their own you know, individual beauty. Right. And if they do decide to do that, be informed about the pros and cons and also make sure that they are being safe and, you know, as healthy as possible. But I th- I just think that you never know what your body, what one person's, how one person's body is going to react to something. You know what? I'm curious. Why, why take that stance? Why say um, that, you know, I, I've been harmed by this and this is dangerous and you don't want to do this and then turn around and still say, but if you do want to do Because she has it, to. Yeah, I think she has to because think about to. it. I t- and I, I asked her this question on the show. I said, well, if, you know, it's easy for you at, I think she's 36 or 37 to say, well, don't do this. And, but yet you acknowledge that when you were doing it, you got lots of attention. You felt empowered. You felt even more beautiful. There are a lot of girls, I mean, she's a gorgeous woman anyway, but there are a lot of little girls that would watch her and say, well, I want to feel like that. Even, you know, even I have if a it's right. for five years. Even if it's for, yeah. yeah. Because I think, I think we have to remember that we teach little girls still today. I think it's changing, but it's changing slowly, that the best thing that they can be is beautiful, even more than smart or rich or powerful. We teach little boys that they should be successful and have a lot of money and be powerful, but we teach little girls the best thing that they can do is be beautiful. And so think about someone who has not felt beautiful, not because they're not, but because maybe they don't see themselves that way. They may suffer from body dysmorphia, which basically means when they look at themselves in the mirror, they don't see what other people see. So for someone dealing with that, you know, to hear, well, you shouldn't do it, you need to explain to them why 
you know, and, and allow them to make that decision. But I just think that if you give a person the hard, all the information. The hard no, and you, on, right. on the other side, if you give them the hard no, you shouldn't do it. They're like, well, I don't want to hear that. Yeah, maybe you're just saying that because it didn't work for you now right. that you've already had that fun. But right. if you give them, say, I wouldn't suggest it, this is why. It's kind of like my mother told me about sex. Like, I don't think you should do it. I don't want you to do it, but. Ever? Well, this was when I was in, when I was a teenager. I don't think I don't but want then you, you to mess do around it. and did it, didn't you? No. What age? 14, 12? I didn't say that. Um, no, no, none of those things. No. I'm trying to figure out. Like, I said nineteen. A basic point oh, for no, the nineteen. 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 And you're now twenty five. Something like that. So that's, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank she you so much to it. She thought I was about to blast her. I did. I was just like, oh my god. <laughs> 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 Thanks so much to Anivia for the interview. Do they have a way to, to get in touch with her program or whatever she's doing? Killer Curves, if you are interested in talking to her, it is Anivia Cruz, A-N-I-V-I-A, I I believe, Cruz, C-R-U-Z, on Instagram. Or if you want to reach out to her and you can't get her that way, you can always reach out to the show and we'll forward the information over to her team. Cool. Yep. Yeah. That was kind of sad. I know, right? A little bit. Yeah, I don't don't like those kind of stories. I mean, Mm -hmm. you got to hear them. Yeah. But I don't... You know, I don't like that happening to people. Yeah. Especially over something like where they're not getting what they're supposed to get from people. Right. Because that's think, a failure on us. It is. Not you know men, what? but us. I people. think that I agree because it's both sides. But I, I was thinking about my daughter and, I, and, and your daughter. And they're both, um, you know, young women. Young women that have obviously kind of reject what society says. And I wonder, you know, if, if it's that... I raised my children as a single parent. You know, you you have your children are in a two parent family, but still, they both have this idea that what they are is okay, and forget the rest of the world. So I don't know if right. if that's. I think for me, like the best way to combat that is just to give your daughter as much confidence in who she is as possible. And I know people, kids get things from outside their parents as well. But what do you think? You know, has been the biggest thing with 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 helping your daughter become the person that she is today. I mean, I, I I try to lead by example. Me, me and my wife try to lead by example, and we don't we don't really get into that. You know what I'm saying? We right. we don't care so much what the status quo is or what everybody else is doing. And I think just maybe doing that enough right. enough times around her, she kind of just saw it. It's right. like, okay, well, you don't have to you don't have to buy Jordans because everybody got Jordans, right? You know what I'm saying? You don't have to you know whatever. So mm-hmm. I don't know. Maybe I don't I don't know. Honestly, it's yeah. Toss I don't up. know. I think I think part of it. My, my my daughter struggled a lot with different issues. That she had health issues growing up. But I've watched her. But I but I always made other things important. You know what I mean? Right. I never focused on. You know, she she had to have good grades. She had to be involved in different things. So she had other things to focus her time on, as opposed to just looking at herself in the mirror. And I I don't. You know, you just never know what works. But I do think that giving girls other places to find self esteem is is a good thing. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, I know with my niece, I'm big on on spending time with her, and we always telling her how smart she is and mm-hmm. how beautiful, and you know, we talk and play and do all that kind of stuff. But it was crazy because I remember even with my sisters, like I would purposefully tell them that they were beautiful and how much I loved them. Mm-hmm. Until one, but one day she got a crush. On some boy, mm-hmm. and he told her that she was pretty, and then it was, and then oh. she was really, like, <laughs> and and I was like, but yo, I tell you that all the time. Don't well, matter. you're my brother. You're supposed to say that, right? Yeah. So I, I'm like, oh, I ain't shit. <laughs> Ooh, damn. I mean, not not. I shit. got, I got. Oh, it started coming back to me like a floodgate. Mm. I actually did the opposite of that. I tell my daughter all the time, "You're regular. Stop." Don't. <laughs> no, seriously, <laughs> I'm not joking. I, I I used to always tell my daughters. Y'all regular, stop with this, you know, this. there's no princess here. You're going to have to get out and get a job. You're going to have to work, you know what I'm saying? You have to work for what you get. Yeah. It was the opposite. I never, I, I mean, yes, my daughter is beautiful, mm-hmm. but that's not why. Right. And I'm not right. saying that, I'm not, I'm not shitting on what you said. Right. Because that's important too. I think, right. you know, maybe the people don't tell their they're girls that they love them and that they're beautiful or whatever. I don't know. I think I told my daughter both. I said that you're, be- you know, you're beautiful, you're smart, you're dope, and you're gonna like. I just pushed her, I, but obviously never the idea that wait on somebody to take care of you. And yeah. then too, they watch a lot by example. So I remember my daughter telling me when she was probably in middle school that she loved the fact that I had my own company, and that was really one of the reasons I didn't quit because I wanted to stop. <laughs> but when she said that, I was like, oh, she's paying attention. You know what I mean? So she feels like she's she's fearless, you know what I mean? Because she saw that. So I think that, 
a lot of times, you know, I did want her to know that she was beautiful, that she was smart, that she was capable, that she was competitive. Capable. That she, that's now yeah. that's a that's a good word, I think. Yeah. Capable because because people definitely need mm-hmm. to feel like they can accomplish something. And that's why you got to help them get small goals. And, right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And meet those goals. I think the reason why I didn't do the beautiful one, though, is because I've ran into, I've run into so many princess syndrome women. Mm-hmm. And I just it just drives me crazy. Yeah. I'll open your door for you, but don't tell me to open your door for you. <laughs> and don't tell me that what your dad does. and did, No. Right. Get, it's, it's, uh. Well, you probably, because you're raising a... a Daughter that had a father Daughters that had a father So you didn't want to create a situation Another man was going to be like What the hell is this Right, right, yeah. right And I, it, <laughs> my, you know those, those Instagram memes Get you a girl that can do both Yeah That's what, my, that's yeah. what, that's what I try to get yeah, my too. daughters to, to yeah. be But I did it before the memes Right I got a good friend that, that raised his daughter And I mean he's, he's married But he was just, just a, a great father um, I'll say his name. Shout out to Tricky, Tricky uh, Montgomery, Tricky Businesses. And I remember watching up, his, yeah, his example with his daughter, um, who is a lawyer and is absolutely amazing. Shouts out to Dream Montgomery. She's holding it down in New York. And just, I mean, just like one of the role models that I showed my daughter growing up because she was a few years older. But he would just, you know, constantly... Um, assure her that she was capable of whatever she wanted to do. You know what I mean? And constantly, almost like, you know, we don't see a lot of times fathers, It's they almost had a relationship like you would see a coach and a son, you know, a football coach with a player. But it was like whatever she wanted to do, he was that coach. Like, okay, so this is this is the strategy behind that. And I think it, it helped her develop a sense of confidence that a lot of times girls don't have because we don't really... You know, I think fathers get a chance to bond with sons in that way, but you don't always see that with daughters. And so it was just beautiful to see, you know, a father that had the had the had the knowledge to say, I gotta show her how to how to develop strategy. I gotta show her how to deal with people and show her all these things from a very young age. And then he has this daughter that is just amazing. I'm sure she's not perfect, but I mean, her confidence level, her ability to, you know, be ambitious and still to to embrace her feminine side is amazing. And I think that it's raising well-rounded daughters that aren't focusing so much on the mirror. That's you know? beautiful because I'm, I'm sitting there thinking Tricky is just a jokester. He's always <laughs> joking people. Oh, that's like come, the best part about Tricky. Come to find out he's actually raising queens. <laughs> he raised an amazing queen. and um, But I, I got a chance to watch it from the time he she was like in middle school and he would text her during the day like just constantly reinforcing that. And I think there's a saying that says, Dads give children confidence And I think that gave her You know Even if she has an issue I know that she'll call him now You know As, as, a, as a lawyer Doing her own Earning a whole bunch of money Will call and say Dad what do you think about this But there's that Knowing that I can do this And that someone has my back That's cool That's gotta feel yeah. different Than just I need this guy To think I'm pretty You know Yeah So Anyway Good luck to the parents Parenting is hard You just don't know what to do But you know You don't want your daughter you know, relying on something that could stand end. off the pole, the pole, and and stand the, the, off the pole, the butt injection who's, couch. Whose daughter did <laughs> I see in the social media? It was it, um, Mister No, Devonte. Yeah, I think something. I saw oh, something wow. that said that Devonte from Jodeci, his oh, wow. daughter is she's, on the pole. She's on the pole. Okay. Yeah. Well, now the poll is very famous. It's 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 a it's a, it's a normal thing. A gateway it's, to celebrity. It's a gateway to celebrity. You know, or and bartenders, yeah. oddly enough. Well, now because strippers, because the bartenders started competing with strippers, so it becomes like That's odd. Know, yeah. Now we got celebrity nail techs. And- <laughs> I saw someone that said they were a celebrity. Actually, my locksmith said he had a car that said celebrity locksmith. I was like, wow. I don't know what that means. Celebrity (laughs) locksmith. Atlanta. Expansive keys. (laughs) (laughs) Atlanta is full of... Bullshit. Tom Foolish. Tom Foolery. Tom Foolery. Would you you pull up in case somebody locked out of their Lambo? (laughs) I only answer the calls of celebrities. (laughs) You better not put no damn Slim Jim in my Lambo. That's what I know. You better have some more sophisticated shit than that. That's true. That is true. I think about that. Like, what do you do for that? Lamborghini. Lamborghini has to come out. I guess you don't. Yeah, you're right. I don't don't want a regular locksmith if I have a Lamborghini. Atlanta has everything. Atlanta has celebrity dentists. (laughs) They do. Atlanta has celebrity plumbers. Yeah. Yeah. No, seriously. Yeah, like hey. yeah, forget barber and hairstylists. It's like dog groomers to the stars. Yeah, my, my <laughs> homeboy actually shout out to Eddie's place in Decula. He um he flew down to 
uh, Florida and did the uh, Love and Hip Hop thing oh, they had down there. You there you go. Celebrity caterer. Celebrity caterer. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Amen. So on my website. <laughs> you see my picture with the celebrities on my website. It drives my traffic up. Right. Oh, my God. What else we got, y'all? Well, speaking of celebrities, um, we got to talk about this conversation with that Slim Thug had. He was doing an interview, and he talked about— You going to make me talk about this? I, we got to. We, we have to because it's, it's, it's been too much of a conversation on social media. I don't know why he even— Ventured into talking about uh, Sierra Future and Russell Wilson, but he suggested that because of the type of guy that Sierra was, we used to see Sierra dating Future, Fifty, you know, different people that way. That he really did not believe that that Sierra really really cared about Russell. That he was corny, and he just said he didn't really see a connection. And he afterwards was like, no shade, or you know, was trying to act like he wasn't trying right. to be, you know, a hater. Uh, yeah, a hater, but. I mean, how do you take that? How do you, first of all, how do you talk about someone's relationship like that and then say, and then call the dude corny and say his his wife doesn't really, you know, love him like that. She really would rather be with a guy like this and then say no harm, no foul. You want to go first? I think he does. (laughs) I don't know that Slim Thug is saying something that other people haven't been saying behind closed doors already. He isn't. He. I mean, I think that there have been chatter like that. This ain't the first time that Russell Wilson's been called corny. (laughs) <laughs> I'm just saying It's not It's not They were talking about The whole Damn Gucci flip flops And all that They was They have been on Russell <laughs> This is not a new conversation <laughs> But Sierra I feel like Sierra Actually gave it a little credibility Because she responded What did she say? She said some, oh, One She tried to say Well I think cool Is like this And then she oh. named You know all the good Characteristics about What a man is That's yeah. cool Right, so uh, you're redefining it or whatever. Blah. Yeah. Are you rolling then, your eyes when you say that? A little did. bit. You see, okay. I was just kind of like, <laughs> okay. Right, that was blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. Then um, I think the other the other thing that she posted um, was that, well, actually, I, I felt like it was a little, a better response was that, A, sometimes you make mistakes for long enough, and Amen. if you're paying attention, you do better. Amen. You know better, you do better. You know better, you do better. She could have left it at that. It's my turn. It, yeah. Shouts out to Russell Wilson for being a stand-up class guy. Right. What the fuck is Slim Thug or Future? What are you, <laughs> you, what are you niggas talking about? Well, Future hasn't said anything. Well, no, you're defense. right. You're yeah. right. You're he, right. He, he, did. He, he, he did. And if he did say something early on, it probably was less about it was, Russell it, being yeah, corny it was and more about the anger of the relationship. Yeah, the, the child. Shout everything. out to Russell Wilson for being a stand-up dude. I, As being a, a slightly corny guy myself, I... I I commend him on being the guy that he is. I think Sierra started out very early in the music industry. All of us know Mm -hmm. that she was very young in Atlanta, moving around the streets. Right. She's seen it. She knows what it is. She's tired of it. She's tired of it. She's moved past it. It don't take long to get tired of it. She's moved past it. Y'all leave her alone. Maybe she's not. Maybe she's not going to stay over there. Maybe she'll come back to the streets and y'all. If you know what I'm saying, (laughs) one day. I mean, she seems happy. She has a full daughter, a marriage. I mean, he made her a. Co-owner of a team with him I mean I don't think She's gonna What's Slim Thug's connection You kinda can't get ma- Like even if even I don't if know You about to say it What's his well, connection no, You I, can't get mad at her Like No she up She Well she she has a song She leveled up Yeah she's, She she does keep It's appropriate Okay rubbing Everybody's the using face. the shit Out of that song right now Well yeah but even <laughs> Even the song that, uh, that Featured that, Meghan Markle No the f- <laughs> <laughs> Wow No the song that she had out I bet you know, with I bet you'll be loving me when you when you see me loving somebody else, somebody better than you. Like she's been making little mm-hmm. little jabs, but I mean that's that's just I mean she got the better of the situation. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Who else survived the Beyonce onslaught? I mean, nobody's winning as far as singing goes. <laughs> Take right. Riri out of the out of the picture because yeah. she's in a different category. Yeah, all the rest of these light skin oh, dancing, well, singing, damn. writing, writing. Carrie Hilson. Hmm? <laughs> Destroyed. Destroyed. Well, but that that destroyed. Yeah, but I mean, Sierra, Sierra's, Sierra's come out on her feet. Sierra's come out. And the song. Well, let's just be honest. Sierra married well. Oh, she's on her feet. But that's why. <laughs> I didn't say that. I she, the know. level up song is is, is popping. It's everywhere, it right? Is. But I think I think I, I think that I think the level, they're playing smile bitch a little bit. I think that. <laughs> <laughs> I think the Level Up song is popular Level because of, if it is popular, it is because of the intended, the message, the ambiance behind, that, that it came out. Like okay. it's her her messages leveled up and then you see her co-owner of a 
professional team, beautiful Can't baby girl, Mar- like it's it's all about that. Like if a, if a, another person came out that was like if Seven Streeter had Level Up, I, no. No. Name no, another no, no. woman it, singer. It's appropriate for her. No, no. Name yeah. another woman singer. Like Beyonce with the big ego. No, but that's Beyonce. That's what I'm saying. Name another woman singer. Remove Rihanna. Name another woman singer who's we come can't. out on her feet. Okay, we can't. We can't. Okay. Sierra, we know. she's doing her thing. Little mama. She's stop she's, it. She's matured. And I commend her for picking a, a quote unquote corny guy. No, there's nothing wrong. There's nothing corny she's about She's trying to it. raise a, a family. Guy. Right. Like you can't raise a family In when the, the guy is saying I, if I if I if she catch me cheating, I will never tell her sorry. Like Molly Percocet. Like that's just not <laughs> for family. It's not I mean not for everyone, okay? There's some people that are okay with that, but I'm just saying, like, that just doesn't... Sierra didn't come from a hood family, though, did she? I don't think she did. I don't know where... I think everybody probably came from a family of a certain... That has... That understands both sides. See, I mean, she was raised in Atlanta. Yeah, here's We're the not thing. saying that she's not used to, you know... You know what I'm talking about, though. Right. She wasn't no drug trap... Right, no, no, no. Queen. No, she wasn't no daughter. trap girl. And, right. And, and that's the thing, like... The whole cool, cool, uncool, lame, whatever, man. Like, Russell Wilson doesn't have to tote a gun. He don't have to. He, he's, a he, he's a professional He's a professional football player. A very good one, in right? fact. Right. Championship winning right. professional right. football player. Right. Right. He don't have to right. live that. And who he does? He don't have to be the. Who does? Thug. Who like, does at that level? Like, Jay-Z is not living the life of. You know the average trap star. Like even though he's he definitely like is, we is, need with, a bunch of chains. He got a you know what I'm saying. Like as as much as we as we want to say or people are saying that Russell Wilson is corny. It's like we all want to be corny. You sound like a hater complaining about somebody who like I just, I just I'm ready for guys doesn't get in trouble and gets lots of money and has a beautiful woman. I'm just tired of and guys family. saying. And matter that of fact, guys he got last. somebody else's beautiful chick. He didn't wife and. Teaching your kid how to play football or this, yeah, like that. this is unfortunate because I, <laughs> I actually, gotta stick up for the stepdaddy, man. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I actually sent me Sam Hitman. What you know about that? Nothing. All right, so <laughs> Stepdaddy and Stepdaddy Remix. Who Flawless was on? Shout out to Flawless. I remember that. I do remember. Old that. rapper from back in the label Dude I used step to work daddy. with. Do yeah. step um Dude. I'm just tired of the nice guy finished last conversation. Okay, yeah. I'm yeah, over yeah, that. Yeah. I don't like I'm that. Tired either. of it. Like, no, they don't. Stop talking. Get yourself some, you know, get your confidence up and go get a girl. Girls are not all stuck on the, the swag and bad boys. Like, who, who? Nerds are winning now. I'm, 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 I'm nodding, still. but I'm looking at Kevin no, like, that's mm. not true. A lot of y'all still. Nerds. 87% of the people watching this right now. That's not true. Mm. That's not true. Nerds are winning. Everybody went well, besides the fact that Michael B. Jordan's having issues with African American women. He's in his not having choice. issues with them. But I'm just saying, women love him, and he's not, he's definitely not a, a bad boy. Like, I, that's just, yeah. it, the stereotypes have changed, okay? Get with it. I just hate because Slim Thug was actually, I think he was on the right side of the Kanye thing that was happening. And he he put out some public things about, you know, about not hating yeah. Kanye or whatever. Right. So for him to come back and do this now, it's like... That, well, it could be a personal thing because, you know, his That's his what ex, I was asking you. What's yeah, his connection his ex, to this? Um, uh, Latoya Luckett just got married to a quote-unquote very good guy looking person. So... And she's extremely happy and expecting a baby as well. So I don't See, know if maybe he feels some kind of way. I can't hate on winning, man. There's yeah. nothing wrong with winning. There's nothing wrong with winning. Winning is always. I going don't on. think we know enough because some thought don't seem like the kind of person who to be just, messy to be like just yeah. out there like that. That was waving. strange, but I was just like, well, maybe he. And I do think a lot of people have voiced that. I mean, we've seen that conversation on social media before because. It is such a huge discrepancy between what she dated before, but I do think that everyone grows up. I think that there are guys out there that probably have dated one type of woman and they realize, whoop, this ain't going to work. I want to get married. I want a wife. I want, you know, a mother for my children. Right. I'm going to go this way. I'm nothing like my wife's ex-boyfriends. God, th- awesome. That's that's probably a great thing. I mean, level up. Right. If you're paying attention. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Tell my, all my exes You never find another me You never Never And they probably have leveled up And it's okay Cut it out I'm just saying Everybody I'm sure my exes have leveled up God bless them mm-hmm. I don't know Nah they stuck without me I don't keep up I was legendary mm. Alrighty then Yeah have you noticed how we let silence In Kevin's <laughs> periods a lot <laughs> We just be like Okay 
I just wanted to sink in to I've every- been needing y'all to back me up. No, it's not it's not back up. I just want to make sure there's a hole between <laughs> what the thing that you say that's fringe and the next statement. <laughs> we wanted to stay on the zone. I just, you know, involve the audience. I want them to be a part of it as well. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess uh, I guess we gotta get out of here. Yeah, yeah. we gotta go do this live. So I don't know if you if you if you guys listen to this show and you don't realize it, we always do. Well, most of the time we do yes. a live thirty minutes at least, fifteen to thirty minutes um, on, on Facebook. Facebook. So go to our Facebook page. If you go to our Facebook page, you'll be able to check out some of the live conversations that we do after the show. We actually in- involve. Um, listeners and viewers in the conversation. So that that's usually a lot of fun. So we welcome you all. Go to the page, leave comments, you know, share with us if you want to get in on this conversation and add silence or or comments to Kevin's, uh, you know. There's more drama in the pauses. <laughs> Don't doubt my greatness. Let, let if, them you're, if you're an ex of Kevin's and you want to share Show us how you leveled up on that <laughs> you want to share how he if was If you want my exes and you want to comment below And tell them how great I was and Or what? if you want and to what? share the other side of that We want to hear it mm-hmm. Be honest and I are here for it I Don't definitely am <laughs> we We'll dedicate an entire show to Justin Allen There's enough feedback I agree yeah, I work <laughs> Never that Can't block my shine Okay. I mean, you went all a, a, a pearly white With polo. gold, a gold and I'm feeling God. Uh. <laughs> and a lion. Yeah. It, you, we can't get all what you white, There's a lion on one God. side, an emblem, a gold emblem on the other. I mean, you know, you're doing it. It makes some clothes. What's happening? <laughs> all right, y'all. We'll see y'all next week. See y'all next week. <laughs>